Yum, yum. Hey there. Uh, I thought it's been a while since I've shared any funness, uh, so I wanted to uh, show off this little rig that I've been working on. Uh, it's a simple little doodle, little rig doodle, um, which shows off really, really clearly the power of Moto's deformation system and the idea of order of operations and how you can do some wacky stuff that maybe isn't uh, as obvious out of the gate. So um, we are working on creating this little ribbon test uh, for ozone, and uh, I wanted to um, build something that that starts off really simple and then can get really complex in a way that you kind of wonder how it was done. So check this out. So this is a, a cube, a, uh, a, a box, if you will, and it will zoom in. It's like super dense. So I basically made a really um, subdivided box is really all this is. And then I created um, a tool to be able to turn that box into a ribbon. Um, so check this out. So here are all the controls um, on this. So we can do this here, and, and then I'll break down the order of operations and kind of show you how it works. So we have this ability to increase the radius. So let me roll this around so it's looking the right way. Uh, so we go, say, all right, cool, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to increase the radius of this, and then I'm going to sweep it, right? I'm going to add this into it. Uh, then I'm going to add a little bit of offset, a little curl so that now I can uh, roll this up and you can see as I can just keep going there. Let's add a little more curl to it. Um, I can go and I can, of course, keep dynamically adjusting the radius and whatever. Um, we can go here and actually fade or do an upper and lower curl with it, right? So we can pull this thing out and do this kind of a thing. And then we have a slide uh, grow command. So we have this curve here, this spline. And I'm basically going to just slide the result of these deformers along the curve, but weighted from the end, uh, from the tip to the end. So we go here, and I can grow that up. So now I have this ribbon that is growing up along the curve, and then all these controls are live. So you know I can adjust the the sweep or the edge curls uh, how I want. Um, we also have the ability to change the thickness of this. So let's say I go here and I want to change. Um, I can thicken the ribbon up. I can thin the ribbon out. Um, we can go here and adjust its height. So if I wanted to make the ribbon taller, I can make it taller or shorter. All right. So make it a big ribbon or make it a small ribbon. Um, and then here, let's go through and we'll just grow this all the way up. Right. So it can kind of go to the top here. And then if I wanted to curl more, um, I can just add more rolls to it. So as I go here, you can see how now we're getting our ribbon kind of curling its way up. Oops, wrong control, but I am going to show it to you in a second. <laughs> um, right? So now, so imagine animating this, the ribbon swiping along there as it's growing, you know, up up at the length here. So we can do this. And actually, you can do here, and then I actually have a slide all, so I can then slide the whole result up and along the curve. Um, and you can do fun things like this. You can increase the the radius. We can take the curl really far down. So let's say I wanted to fade at the end. Um, I can bring the this down and then play around with it so it, it increases its size. Let's turn this grow up a little bit. There we go. Um, we're getting some, uh, as I increase the radius, it's starting to come to get into its, uh, uh, the parameterization space, which is fine. Um, you can go through and, and do all that kind of stuff. So yeah, this is, this is super fun. And it's just a stack of deformers that have all been added together with with um, weight maps that do the right thing. Um, I did add some other like little controls in here too. So um, we have this uh, ripple up. So if I wanted, I can I can increase and add like a little a little warble to it. Um, even go through and add a little uh, a little uh, left and right. So that basically we can get a, a, a ripple along the length of the of the ribbon. Um, so ripple side to side. So you can add a little, you know. A little distortion and difference in there um, can go through. It's just super fun, and it's just nice that this <laughs> this is just a series of deformers, right? That um, that all start with a little cube. <laughs> so anyway, this this is a fun little like ribbon doodle that we're working on. So here, let me um let me show you then the breakdown of the pieces because this is where it gets neat. So I've got all these things. Here. Oh, wait, one more. I can add an overall twist to it as well. So I can uh, go through here and here. Let's do this. Let's uh, 
add, let's increase or decrease the radius here. There we go. So this is normal. The curve, you start, if you get pieces that are, come across each other, uh, then it affects the projection. Um, but that's a super easy thing to fix. Um, anyway, all right, let's go back to this. Yeah, so I can I can be twisting this stuff around and it, and it twists along its length. So you can, you can pull that out. So all right, now that we've kind of got values and all these, let's go through. So I'm going to go to the mesh ops here and we're just going to, I'm going to turn all these off. So let's, um, let's turn all these things off one at a time and then I will show them as we go. So this is the beauty of how this stuff works. Okay. So if we go here and let's turn on the radius. So I turn this on, that's what pushes the, the radius out and let's increase that a little bit, right? So this, this here, it says, okay, take my thing and push it out. And so if I push this out here and then, all right, let me, let me do the roll up. So that's this, right? This is the spinning around. And then this is the curl, which says, all right, I'm gonna offset it. And then here's my um, top and bottom curl. So there's the top curl, right? That curls it out. Here's the bottom curl that curls that out. Here is how I can make it taller or shorter. Here's how I make it thicker or not. It looks like I don't have any thickness in there. Let's do that. Let's uh, let's make it a little thinner. Turn it on. <laughs> um, where is it? There we go. I gotta make it a little smaller. All right. So now we thin it out. So that's what this is here. So make it thinner. Um, and this is the um, ripple that I've added from the um, right. So that's adding that kind of wave in it. And that's actually just a blend shape morph target. Um, that I set up on the, the little piece there. And then you can turn on the twist. And, and this actually gets really interesting when you look at it here, right? This, and let's set this to zero, right? So now as I'm twisting, you can see that it's, it's twisting around and it's twisting more at the length. Isn't that funky? <laughs> um, and then you've got your fade, which this is the one that slides along versus this one, which then slides. So now that you know how these individual pieces work, we can build this up from zero. Um, so we'll just look at them in the order in which they're done. So it's going to look funky at first, but you go, all right, I'm going to scale up. I'm going to add my warble. I'm going to add some thickness. I'm going to add some height. I'm going to curl the bottom. I'm going to curl the top. Then I'm going to add my twist. I'm going to add my radius, curl, roll up, slide, fade, which is the growth part, and then slide along, right? These are, so I've used a total of four types of deformers, a rotate, a translate, a scale, and a, uh, a curve slide, I guess five, and, and a morph target, right? So individual effects and what, and what the beauty of order of operations and this style of rigging is that I can focus on the one thing that I want it to do and make sure it does the right thing and then just add it up into the stack. And then you can do things that would be very difficult to do in kind of a standard uh, normalized skin and joint weight system. And the beauty of this is, is once it's all done, if I wanted to, I could still control it with joints because it all lives in here nice together. Um, so anyway, just a, a little... Uh, a little uh, rig doodle here um, using Moto's order of operations based um, deformation system, dynamic weighting, um, and actually, I guess I could show that too here. So this is this is the rig. It's actually not that complicated. I've got a set of controls. I'm attenuating the controls by some math nodes to be able to, you know, so that I get a zero to 100. I get kind of a normalized value here that makes sense. And I've got these individual weight maps um, or weight containers here. I can show that here. Sorry, I'm zooming around. But so now if I go and select this, right, there's the top weight for doing the top curl. There's the bottom weight doing the bottom curl. This is the fade along the length. That's how we slide and stretch it as it goes through. And then here's the 100% weight map that we fit through. So, And then you can see how these are being reused. So this length is being used in all these different deformers here. So. It's just, it's an incredibly flexible way to work. And every time I, I get these little problems that I want to solve, it's just it's just a joy to rig this stuff. So anyway, uh, order of operations based rigging. Um, we'll show this off, uh, the, the ozone version of this um, as we get it ready. Um, but it's uh, it's pretty cool stuff. So anyway, glad to, glad to see you guys. It's been a while. I'll post some more videos here soon.